Hello everyone, it's Simon here from High Plane Games. I hope you are and having a great day. And welcome to Firewatch and the latest episode that we've got. <clears throat> so, just for a recap from last week's episode, we are... Press the right button, Smithy. There we go. So we're on a... We, we are there. We are currently on our way to Five Mile Creek and just beyond to take a look at Campfire Smoke. Uh, we'll be having no doubt a little rummage around on things along the way and uh, enjoying our little booty uh, and probably kicking some hopefully when we get there because those naughty girls that we found in the pond a couple of episodes ago all naked and drunk and playing music loudly and being generally antisociable in the woods uh, decided to chop down our communication telephone wire which is most unhelpful um, and Delilah that creaky sound a bit creepy uh, we will um Delilah wants them to pay so we can't clear the blocks trails yet because we don't have our little choppy axe of love and joy so that's fine for us we can dive over for now and is this so change the lakes that way two forks so I'll hide hide out look out is up that way, so we need to go this way. And that looks suspiciously like, is that not our first? Yeah, 306. Oh, it's our first little supply cache. So let's continue on. Make sure we are actually going in the right direction. I know it's slightly cheating using the map as opposed to the actual thing, uh, compass, but way ho. I was trying of going and seeing the medicine wheel, but I think we'll save that for later when it actually appears in the story, uh, like naturally. Uh, what will are be you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. <sighs> Sorry for the umpteenth time. <laughs> I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. Right now, I'm trying to hunt down some vandals, and I don't even know what I'm going to do when I find them. I'm not thinking very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Amen to that, Delilah. A fucking men to that. So, our little smokestack is getting closer. <clears throat> Do a quick little joggeroo to the edge. And now that we've got some rope, we can attach things. We meet again, Widowmaker. You haven't beat me yet. You ready to give it another shot? Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. <laughs> Just in case this is our final time <laughs> being able to survive Widow Creek. Okay. We can do this. Nope. Yay. Fuck you, widow maker. In fact, I survived. There we go. <laughs> okay, so our column of smoke is there. We are now traveling to another route off point by the looks of it.
otherwise we'll be going to Jamesy Lake, and Jamesy Lake is lovely, but <sighs> no, Henry. It's quite knackering being you, mate. We should uh, sort that out a bit. Oh yeah, that's a photo op. I feel like I'm going to use all of these camera rules far too quickly. <laughs> So yes, we are going in the right direction. Maketh Sensage. Oh, hello. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a... PTSD a hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. She was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> Alright, girl. Okay. So, where's my compass? Right. We need to go very briefly west. I think this this could be where this episode gets a bit wrong. Directly west of the box, there will be a small semicircular area. We need to go slightly south. Then west to finally and finally back north to reach the area. Okay.
Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Is this semicircular? Yeah, we're in it, right. Now, ah, there it is. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Shelly Duvall. Ah, Shelly. I see what you did there. Very nice. She's uh, she's dainty yet powerful. Well, I loved her in The Shining. <laughs> okay. Let's. Oh, yeah. Hello. To adopt it. And that is Love Turts, the trophy. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Okay. Back on back on the quest. So uh Firewatch got an update where you've if you've played through the game, uh you've got like a director's commentary version of this, which we've not obviously got switched on. But also you've got um some more optional trophies for some of the more obscure things so that's uh one trophy the other trophy is to fill up your camera uh with 18 rolls of footage uh it's very with 18 uh pictures which i think we're about to do as well and this is good because i wanted to get some water oh look at that gorgeous delicious Now, are we actually even going the right way? Debatable, but let's follow it. Splish, splash, splish, splash. I feel like I've shot my bolt on that camera way too early. <laughs> going off the track. Oh, 
Wow. Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Oh, we're in Team Park Park! Never mind. The photo game is over now, kids. Get back on the trail. Follow this stream. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. <laughs> uh, uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Oh, hello. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Let's fuck them up. We are having to go up, fair enough. Love it. Right. Let's go fuck up some teenagers, hopefully. Not in that way, or the other way. <laughs> Vista porn. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Stomp that shit out. Thank you. Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. No. Oh, I don't really want them back, but. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean? <laughs> well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. <laughs> nice guys always finish last, and I'm a nice guy. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Ha! <laughs> There we go. Uh, right. Oh, hello. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Oh, well done, Smithy. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. 
At this stage, take whatever you want. I want it, I want it. Uh, it looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. or ever and I creeped on this little pig. Really? I came and destroyed our campsite and other stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. No. Probably a fucking mental murderer. <clears throat> nice. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right. It's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. beautiful windows <clears throat> hey Henry yeah um what do you look like why are you asking because I'm horribly superficial I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now, let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh, my God, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. well, a pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> so let's board up our wonderful cabin in the woods. Ah, there's one. Just 
in case. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. I'm not ready yet. Where's my turtle? Where's my little turtle? Oh dear. <laughs> A whiskey, we've got mm. Oh there is Hello mm. That's really harsh <laughs> I love how aggressively angry Henry picks everything up. So good. Nice socks. Wow. What a beautiful way to live. Yeah, that fantasy map from before looks like it was made by Brian Goodwin. The, uh, the handwriting matches everything in that folder I found. Hmm. Maybe it just fell out a while back? I guess. Right. You ready to work? I think we are. Okay. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. afternoon not too bad I could get used to it out here that's nice look um, I called with bad news two young women Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean were reported missing they've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week they were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody if they're the girls from last week then you're probably the last person to have seen him. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? No, I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Is that because you're dodgy, Delilah? 
Oh, I'd enjoy that sunset over and over and over and over again. Quite happily, thank you. See, it's that time that I'd want to be out there chilling out in the woods with a with a cider or a beer or whatever. Just going, nom, 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 nom. Sun sets. Nice, nice. Henry. Henry, wake up. Hi. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Oh, her lights are on. That looks pretty gorge over there. But we need the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiots. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know? <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> Thank you very much, Delilah. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. And I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and... I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. 
<sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. We both fucked up, Delilah. What's that? What is that? It's not. It's it's definitely man-made. Whatever it is. Oh, I love these vistas. So beautiful. Okay, this is light drop is coming up. Wherever it is. Pretty. Oh, hello. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. I'm assuming this is one, two, three, four as well. supplies let's we'll wander around do we have any where are we before we end the day Faster, Henry, run. Oh, hello. I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I got, I, got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility? There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years? You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account even if it means giving his life? Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. <laughs> nice. Man. 
Excellent. <laughs> oh dear. Let's end the day. Right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just I'm yours, down. right? Who do you think I am? But I like that that whole section you could never have you can you can miss all of that quite happily and I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that I'm missing as I play through and that's the beauty of all the little little diddly things that make Firewatch awesome for me personally anyway you've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year yeah it's oh, really sure. going I'm gonna call it in they'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer and she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? So, no ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. Then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. I actually was to buy that, but... Don't be wanky. Hey, Shelly. Still alive. Shelly's still alive! Okay, let's look at the fire. Okay. I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. We got these radios. We could, um... What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Filth! Delilah, you filth! Fap, 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 fap. fishing without a license it's one fish and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat no I won't tell anyone you're a poacher <laughs> that reminds me I keep hearing reports from fish and game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find 
there was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, love the, I love the dynamic of the change of everything that we've got in between the two. So we're going to leave it there for this episode. Fishing pole in hand, we're off for bear tracks and to catch ourselves a fishy wishy woo. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Firewatch here on Higher Plane Games. Please do subscribe or um, and or say hello so that I know that you're watching. Tell me what you think of the game. Uh, there's videos every single day here on Higher Plane Games. Don't forget, I also run a website, higherplanegames.com and highplanemusic.com as well if you're into your musical shenanigans. And if you really want to support independent creative people making content for the internet i also have a patreon where you can sign up and donate monthly if you really 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 want to but everything's free so don't panic you guys will take start again you guys will take care see you tomorrow bye for now